Yeah, we're in the backyard again, and today it's all about the Carolina Reapers. So I'm going to, you know, ladies and gentlemen, please wear gloves if you're harvesting these, if you're playing with these, if you're doing anything with these whatsoever. These are the hottest peppers in the world, Carolina Reapers. And I'm going to harvest these. We're going to go inside, and we're going to do something neat with it. Howdy, partner. <laughs> What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Vibes it up in the kitchen as usual. After sharing that video a few moons ago, how to dehydrate scotch bonnet peppers in my dehydrator, well, there was a lot of people appreciating the video. So much so, Chris, we don't own a dehydrator. Can we do it in our oven? So today we're not using scotch bonnet peppers, my babies. Today we are using Carolina Reapers. Yeah, those Carolina Reapers, real hot. Stay tuned, you're gonna love this video, man. I washed them and my oven is preheating to 180 degrees Fahrenheit because that is, I wanted something low. If you want it to go 140, anywhere from 140 to 180, 140 means it will be, take a long time, uh, much longer than the 180. Anyhow, what I'm doing here now is I have them with the stems on and I have it have them whole. And the reason, two reasons for the having them whole is because I'm going to store them whole once they've been dehydrated. And when I'm ready to use them, that's when I'm going to crush them. And two, the second but more important reason for doing them whole is the least amount of contact I can have with the oils once you cut them open will be better for me. Um, it's very important that you wear gloves while doing this. You wash your hands with soap and water. If you're doing this in your oven, as I'm doing it indoor, turn the fan on over the stove, open a window. We're going to put these now onto a baking tray and then into the oven. But for now, they've been washed. They're whole. If you want to cut them, you can cut them. If you want to remove the seeds, you can certainly do that. But I don't understand why people would take the seeds out because, yeah, well, that's all about the heat and flavor and everything else too. So the peppers are all ready to go into the oven. I want you to pay attention to two things in particular here. One, you will notice that they are ripe, which are red or orange peppers that you're seeing there. And they're green peppers, which are not fully mature. But I just want to point out that yes, you can dehydrate both of them. And the reason why I'm using some green ones in here in the mix, the flavor profile on the green ones tend to be a bit more mild, a bit more fruity. And in my humble opinion, a bit more tasty than the red ones. The red ones is all about heat, that pure fire. And the second thing I want to point out as we, we pay attention here is one is directly, so that batch is directly on the cookie tray. And here I have it on a wire rack. The idea behind using the wire rack as an experiment here is once it's elevated off the surface of the cookie tray, the heat will be able to circulate all the way around so it's pretty much two ways we're doing it right now, but now it's gonna go into the oven, 180 degrees, and we need some patience. 10 hours later, and you've got fully dehydrated Carolina Reapers. This would be the same for Scotch bonnet pepper, for habaneros, all those different things. All I did was I did it overnight, so put it in the oven, went to bed at low heat, and that was it. Now you have a couple options. Option one, you remove the stems, you put it into a food processor, and you blitz it until you get the sort of desired um, flakes or powder that you want. You can make powder out of it, or you can make flakes out of it. Now keep in mind, if you're making flakes or if you're making powder out of it, two things is very important. One, wear a mask because that powder will want to choke you. It is real. And gloves, I have stressed it a few times now, Wearing those gloves or that pair of gloves is very important with these peppers. Any peppers, actually. What I like doing, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buzz this because if you guys want to buzz this in your food processor, you can go ahead and do that. What I like doing, I've got a glass jar, and I've also got labels. It says Carolina Reapers. I will put the date on there when it's made into this airtight container. And the reason why I like doing it like this is whenever I want to use one in a rub, in a marinade or something, at that point is when I'm going to crush it. And by putting the label on there, it tells fast people, nosy people, macocious people, beware, there's Carolina Reapers here. And there you go, friends. 
a great way to preserve the heat and flavor of peppers if you garden if you're like me and you garden and you want to preserve them for a long time as long as this is airtight now if you have a vacuum sealer you can vacuum seal it as well too it's totally up to you <clears throat> but as long as it's airtight if you want to put it in a zipper bag that's fine as well too these will last years Thy kingdom come and these peppers still waiting they're ready to flame up the place and you know even if you don't garden and you don't have a and you don't have access to peppers of your own when they come on sale whether it's scotch bonnet pepper whether it's carolina reapers whether it's trinidad moroga scorpion whether it's jalapeno peppers when they come on sale you buy it in bulk and this is a great way to preserve them for future use while they're on sale while it's affordable sup <laughs> soldiers listen if you enjoy this recipe i'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing if you've made the recipe take a picture and send it to me email address down here i'm mean, trying to tell people the email address then butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it and tag me on instagram at caribbean pod i really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today Irene, Irene. And in case you're wondering if there was a difference, you had a little experiment that we ran there, the wire rack versus the plain old um, sheet pan. There was no difference. I couldn't tell a difference between the both sets of peppers. They dehydrated the same. As long as you maintain that um, 180 degrees in the oven 10 hours later, but do check it because your moisture content in your peppers may be a bit different. But to be honest with you, whether you use a wire rack or you don't, these Carolina Reapers says there's no absolutely no difference.